your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Sierra Cersei. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A structure fire in Saginaw destroying at least one building and burning several others Wednesday night. The fire breaking out on Hess Avenue near Maplewood. Multiple fire departments responding, including Saginaw, Buena Vista, Spalding, and Bridgeport. As of now, no word on injuries or how the fire started. Stick with TV5 for continued updates. Some Monday Township residents sharing their concerns over a manufacturing mega site. The 980 plus acre site is sitting on undeveloped land still and no plans have been submitted just yet. The area would be used for microtrip and electric vehicle facilities. The Township Board of Trustees must approve any plan if it includes more than 160 acres. Watch your meter as new summer peak rates by Consumers Energy goes into effect today. The electricity rate during peak hours is about one and a half times higher than the off peak rate. It's from 2 to 7 p.m. weekdays until September 30th. Now here's Matthew with what we can catch for our forecast. Thank you, Sierra. For this Thursday, just another hot day. We'll see high temperatures right up to around 90 to 91 degrees. We also are expecting a lot of sunshine through today, too. With the warmth and the light wind, it does bring another air quality alert, though, for Shiawassee, Genesee, and Lapeer counties. 70 forecast shows 90 again tomorrow, but then 84 Saturday, 79 on Sunday, and then we'll actually hold those middle to upper 70s for the first half of next week. So there is some temperature relief on the way for us. But we do need some rainfall still. There are small chances Saturday and Monday, both at 10%. So we'll take any rain that we can get. But as we go through the early parts of June here, we still at least have some pleasant weather on the way. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.